Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Serena. I am Marcus. <laughs> my husband is here with us again. Oh, and Labu is making a special appearance, but um, she's not gonna do much throughout this video. <laughs> Um, and I'm also not going to do much. I'm going to make Marcus do all the work. So um, today's video is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video. This is going to be an unboxing video. Um, we actually subscribe to ButcherBox, which is a fantastic company. Look at LaBoo's foot like sticking out through my... So anyways, um, ButcherBox is a fantastic company and you get a lot of value for what you pay for it. So um, basically it is a subscription. And meat. And it's meat. <laughs> so Marcus, take it away. Sure, so uh, I subscribe to this service primarily because it was sort of difficult to source grass-fed beef um, regularly. Yeah. And uh, I heard that this uh, great organization that gets sends grass-fed beef right to your door. So I figured I'd check it out. Um, we get the we get a double order um, every other month, so um, I just like it better to stock the fridge and, and those kind of things works a little easier. So I'll sort of show you what's what's in it um, and sort of how we we go through everything. So very excited for the package to come in. The other cool thing that they do is they provide uh, little cards that come along with them. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, let's see, too much shine on it. There you go. <laughs> So uh, the front side of the card sort of tells you a little bit about a new cut of meat that they might have included in your package. So this time it's about tri-tip. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with tri-tip, had a couple. <laughs> and uh, they also give you a recipe for that tri-tip on the back. So if you're not familiar with the meat, you can sort of get to know um, the history about it, where, uh, what part of the animal it comes from, and uh, all those kind of things, and then you get to see like a nice little new recipe, which is always sort of fun to try out, um, you know, especially if you've sort of gotten into the same old, same old. Um, that's the other fun thing about this uh, package. As you, I'll show you guys, there's some cuts of meat that I wouldn't normally buy at the store, but um, because you're sort of challenged to go outside of your normal, you know, ground beef and, uh, you know, steak or whatever, yeah. uh, you're, you're able to sort of play around a little bit in the kitchen, so it's sort of challenges me as a chef. Yeah, so. Chef Marcus, he's a very talented chef. So tell tell our viewers, uh, and by the way, this is not sponsored. Not sponsored. It's not sponsored, but hey Butcher Box, if you want to sponsor this video, go ahead and reach out to me. My email is in the description box below. Call me, email me. Anyway, why would somebody do this as opposed to buying stuff at the grocery store? So I think the good thing about having it um, on hand, is, especially since you know we have a freezer that we can sort of put some of the meats, meats there. You have it on hand whenever you want to have uh, guests over. So for example, we will invite guests over and we're always able to just pull it out of the yeah. freezer and have it uh, really like readily on hand if we want to have a barbecue or roast something up real yeah. quick. So it's nice to have some uh, you know, some meat stock on hand. Yeah. And it's also good quality meat. Like I said, this is 100% grass fed yeah. beef. Um, and when it like 100% grass fed, a lot of times places will have quote unquote grass fed beef, yeah. but finish it with grain. Yeah. So you still end up getting the, the grain and the fattiness. You'll find that with this meat, it's actually a lot leaner than uh, most other store bought meats. So why do they feed like other places, why do they feed them grain as opposed to grass-fed? Uh, so, <laughs> so grain gets the animal, fattens the animal up okay. uh, a lot quicker. So actually, most of the um, commercial meat, meat. yeah, most of the commercial meat that you're used to having uh, tip, will typically be grain-fed. Uh -huh. It fattens the animal up quicker in a shorter amount of time, and then um, it also you know allows sort of optimal production of the animal versus uh, Grass-fed, obviously, you need a little more area mm -hmm. to uh, to grow the animal, and so um, grass-fed meat also is like sort of happier cows. They get to wander around and uh, enjoy the outside versus yeah. being uh, factory raised or something like that. Yeah. So it's more of a maybe you would say maybe it's more of a little bit of a humane choice, as humane yeah. as it is to eat meat. Yeah. So it, it's definitely a more humane uh, meat option for those of you who do do enjoy meat. Um, you know, and also there's there's also lots of health benefits with uh, grass-fed uh, beef yes. that a lot of people um, a lot of people consider. So 
Uh, I don't want to, you know, I'm not an expert in it. Uh, I just, I, I do know that a lot of people say that the, the benefits of the grass-fed beef, you're actually going to get like omega-3s and stuff like that. Yes. Um, whereas the traditional, or the traditional raised uh, beef, you won't get that. They also have an option for free-range chicken and uh, heritage, ra or heritage uh, pork and stuff like that. I don't do that just because I figure, um, you know, the grass-fed beef is, is really what we need to order and have on hand. Yeah. And we can supplement with, uh, you know, like the Amy's uh, free-range chickens is usually what we need. Or, yeah. sorry, Mary's free-range chickens. Mary's free-range chickens. One of chicken. those ladies. Well, Mary, Amy, <laughs> how different are they really? So. so let's get into this and let's show us, show our viewers what you have and, um, it comes in this nice little insulated bag. So it's delivered by mail to your door and it's bi-monthly, is that what it is? Uh, I have the order that's bi-monthly. You can get it once a month or bi-monthly. So there's a lot or, of options. Yeah, however you sort of uh, want to get it. Yeah, it comes in this little uh, uh, tote. You'll see like on the inside, it's like insulated and yeah. stuff. So that's really nice that it'll come and it'll be, uh, it'll still be frozen when it gets to your door. So they do a really good job. They pack it with dry ice. And I've never had a case where it's like no, you know, big, it's a big even mess when it, it comes in, in the summer when it's like hundreds of degrees because we live in California and it gets pretty hot out where we live, um, and it's frozen solid when we get it in the summer months. So yeah. it's definitely good packaging and well cared for. Yeah. So, uh, so the first thing that I'll show is just the grass fed or the the ground beef. Um, this is I think fifteen. Uh, or sorry, yeah. 15% fat, 85% lean. So this is a, a little leaner compared to um, what you guys normally buy, but it comes with four of those. So that's great if you guys are making hamburgers or something easy at home. So that's ground beef. Yeah. So that's, that's my jam. Yeah. So uh, like Serena, <laughs> Serena doesn't like any of the textures. I don't like meat in it. general, really, but I like this stuff. Yeah. I like, and I like beef. So as I said before, it is a little leaner. So if you are doing like burgers on the grill or something like that, uh, the, the ground beef is, a, is amazing, but just make sure that you, uh, you know, don't dry it out too much because there's not as much fat in Slower the, or less cooking time maybe? Is that what it is? Yeah. You don't keep it on the grill for as long as you would for a, a fatty commercial beef. Correct, yeah. So just uh, keep an eye on it and yeah, you'll sort of get the taste of the, the grass of beef. It's, uh, it's really good. So that's, um, that's always useful. So you know, ground beef. Ground beef. Ground beef, number one. So there's four of those in the package. The next thing is flat iron steak. So they, it also tells you what it is on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it comes with four flat iron steaks. This is really good. This is like a, um, it's a pretty thin cut of meat, but it's actually really affordable if you guys are just going out there and, and buying. Um, and really tender. So it's yeah. sort of a thinner slice of meat. It's not gonna be thick like a steak, but uh, it's really good to you know cut up or uh, put into salads or stews or anything like that, especially for, um, you know, it's, it's fall now, so probably incorporate this more as, you know, uh, a topping on a salad or a side in a, a, side in a dish, um, you know, something like that it would be a nice way to sort of add a little extra punch, but not, uh, you know, have like a big old piece of meat. Yeah. So those are uh, those are really great, and it comes with four of uh, these little things. So they're pretty good size. I have big chubby hands, so you can see. <laughs> um, size comparison to Marcus's chubby hands. Yeah. Uh, the the next thing that it comes with. So again, I order the double package. So if you order a single package, it'll probably come with just half the portion half of, everything. Of, of what it uh, what I'm showing out here. But these are two tri tips. Um, pretty good size tri-tips. Um, again, on the card, it came with the details on, um, you know, tri-tips, sort of its history um, and how to cook it. So typically I would roast this um, either in the oven or a lot of people actually barbecue tri-tips. So just depending if your barbecue is covered and you want to barbecue it, that's, that's great. Otherwise, just roasting it up in, uh, in the oven again is another nice option and tri-tips are great, so yeah. I cool. actually like tri-tip. Yeah, it's a good cut of meat. Um, it's sort of California based, so we're California here, so um, you know, a lot of times you'll see sort of that on there and so it sort of talks a little bit about the origin of the tri-tip and those kind of things uh, in, the, in the 
car. And then this one I'm actually not as familiar with, but um, top rounds. Steak. Top rounds. So these are London rounds. Uh, comes with two of these. So um, I'll probably Google and see how. Yeah, we'll probably yeah. definitely, probably Look. definitely Google yeah. some recipes. When in doubt, Google it out. Yeah, if, if I remember correctly, these are really good for stews and that, and that kind of stuff. So be good um, in the crock pot, maybe. Yeah, so we some stew winter stew. Mm -hmm. So we like to crock pot it up, or um, you know, th throw it in a slow cooker or something like that. Just sear it beforehand. That way, it gets a nice little texture. But um, yeah, so that's two uh, rounds. And the last thing that all that's in here, it comes with four of these guys. So these are the premium steak tips. So uh, these are pretty good little pieces. There's four of them in here, like I said. All the meats. All the meats. So this is, um, they sent this to us last time as well. I was really happy with this. This is what we used for the steak salad, if you Ooh, guys saw. Yeah, if you guys watched our Halloween vlog, Marcus made an amazing I mean, I like I don't like meat. Like it was a good salad. It was steak salad with mango. Yeah. So um, I just uh, seasoned this and some teriyaki sauce, um, some like miso teriyaki sauce that I whipped up, and seasoned that really quick, and then cooked it on high with some mushrooms and garlic. Yeah. And uh, it was and a then, pleaser. And then yeah, just toss that in with the salad. Um, of like a mango cilantro uh, salad dressing. So that turned out really good. It was really good. Um, so I was really happy with these, and again, it's you know it it's one of those things to where we're, we're trying to eat healthy. We're trying to. It's hard. We're both <laughs> like a couple pounds, a couple pounds overweight right now. We're just fluffy because yeah. we really like food. So um, so this is a great option because it gives you sort of enough meat to you know to enjoy with a meal, but yeah. at the same time, it's nice and it gives you a flavor for something. So you don't have to have like a full steak. Um, if you want to have a full steak, have a full steak. I'm, I'm all for it. Do you? Um, but you know, it is a nice option if you're cooking for two yeah. to um, grill up one of these. Or last time, I grilled up uh, two of them because we had four people. So it, yeah, it was a, it was just a good option to have something quick, easy to go, and then also, like I said, we ate it with a salad, so we're you know, sort of trying to get healthy too. Yeah. So it's just awesome. And then, like a little added bonus, I use these grocery bags. Um, all the time because they're, they're insulated so when i am going to the grocery store to get my you know necessities i always use these bags and they keep everything cool so and they come with every single order so you get um a brand new bag every order so you don't have to buy bags yeah so it's really nice you know especially if you're running errands and then you have to go through the grocery store or if you're hitting multiple grocery stores to have like a nice insulated bag and then you just uh take care of it so this comes with the order um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much everything that comes in. Like I said, that's quite a bit of uh, quite a, it's a lot of meat. Yeah, quite a bit of meat. Um, we really enjoy the service. We've yeah. uh, been subscribed for a little while and have enjoyed all the yeah all the packages so far. So. Yeah, and it really lasts you a long time. I mean, if you're somebody who likes to cook at home and you you know really don't trust where everything is sourced at your local regular commercial grocery store, I mean, this is really the way to go. Um, and it's obviously, like I said before, um, if you're not somebody that eats meat, that's you, you know, do you. But this is a more sustainably grown, responsibly sourced choice um, to get your meat. And it's delicious and it's just better for you than all the grain fed um, hormone pumped stuff that you're gonna find at the grocery store so we just wanted to share this with you we really enjoy the service again like I said it's not sponsored but I know that when Marcus and I are trying to invest in anything we research it online first so I just figured we would do a video on an unboxing so you can kind of see what the options are if you go to I'm sure there's a website yep um, butcherbox.com, I'm pretty sure. It's just butcherbox.com? Yep. Sorry, our camera just died. <laughs> so anyways, if you want to check out the website, it is just butcherbox.com. Butcherbox.com. Um, pretty easy to find. They also have like uh, Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff that we'll try to yeah. tag. And um, you guys, leave in the comments below if you guys were counting how many times I said yeah in this video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I say yeah a lot in this video. I'm sure that it's like over 20 times. So if you counted, leave it in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> so I might mail you some meat. He you know, might right? mail you some meat. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see anything more like this in the future, then go ahead and leave it in the comments below. We love finding new things to film videos on. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I post two new videos every week on literally everything on beauty, fashion, makeup, hauls. We do a lot of vlogs on the weekend. Um, bags of meat. Bags of meat, um, home decor, and in just general, the aesthetics. And everything Serena and Marcus. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and of course seeing my adorable little husband here. <laughs> um, just love him, just love you. He's all right, I'm gonna keep him. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And we hope you guys are enjoying this holiday season. Yep. All right, happy holidays guys. Thanks happy for tuning holidays. in. Love ya. Mwah.